I just wanted to make this um, impossible goal, which, you know, just reminded me one more time that, uh, yeah, being a clove is one of my, I think I could just earn the name clove by probably just being the one porn star for these freaking plants, and I don't mean like using ink, I mean like being the best person to be the idol for the clove girl. You know, because I mean, it could be my name. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be something that's just been done before. But it could be really awesome. That was one impossible goal. But the impossible goal is actually also because I want to be able to, you know, basically use these eyes that I said that was just constantly staring at the sun because they're like two planets that would be looking at the sun, you know, and maybe be looking at light, you know, and probably, <laughs> you know, like, I mean, you can think of all the metaphors where it was like, well, you know, we have this easy surface here, just be an eyeball and then just look at the sun and maybe you'll capture some light, you know. <laughs> That's how it feels. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> That's not really the goal. But the goal is, you know, well, that goal is, uh... Just being able to, um, you know, I mean, why, why is it just so, like, hard to say that? <laughs> I have never seen a sun before. That's why I have to use my eyes to look at the sun. I get two so I can really see it, you know. One and two. But yeah, I mean, just that I have, you know, a blinking mechanism and all that is not really the point, but. Um. <laughs> <laughs> What else is the point? Yeah, the point probably would be the point. <laughs> I forgot what my point was. I must have gotten what the point was. What do you think? I thought the point was, you know, that every single eye is like a titty, you know, like two titties, and that every single person's breast is aligned right now, and this entire earth, this big classroom that actually is probably one I didn't really want to go to, honestly, but okay, you know, maybe I did. Maybe you didn't want to go to Or, you know, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, it seems that all breasts are actually aligned. And that... For the record, you know... <laughs> yeah, it happened. Anyway, I mean, just to know that, you know, I know this is another thing I'm trying to learn, you know, 
I'm very proud. Like, nobody gives a fuck about it. And it's just like, the, just me and you. Like, literally, like, you and me, me, you, you know, me, you. You know, literally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man, like, I mean, how come these conversations, you know, these people, you know, everybody's up, you know, no. I know it, camera. You know, you, you are a camera and you're way more important than these stupid people that would be watching it. You know, you're probably the last laptop that would even care. That's why I just wanted to see, you know, if everything was working, you know, if you know what I mean. <laughs> because, I mean, I just couldn't be any more kinky. You know, but I mean, seriously, I mean, I, I just wish it could get more kinky if I could. The pinks, you know. But yeah, I mean, just turning around, I mean, that is just extreme. Seriously. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I just uh, didn't poop. Yeah, well, anyway. Um, so, since the eyes are not able to unfocus, but there are people who were born which is, I don't want people to be born. Thanks, focus. You know? Let's focus. Must be this one. Description. <laughs> the martyr. <laughs> Y'all little losers. Y'all people are losers. I'm even, well, probably not as much as a loser as this plant, you know, is just totally like not a loser. <laughs> But, like, maybe in some eyes, you know, maybe we'd get disapproval or at least, you know, not a view. You know, maybe not a full, full view. Yeah, right. Those people suck. <laughs> Those people think that this is up somebody's asshole. That's what that is. Those people are retarded. They don't even understand the fact that I could replant you. And you'd be perfectly fine. But it would take your limbs to do it. Now, what you want, you know, is the story. I mean, I have no other opportunity here, man. You got me cornered. I mean, I am totally at your will, man. I mean, I, I would do anything you would want me to do, laptop. You know, especially camera with potential people behind it, you know. Maybe even looking at me and us together, you know, if I was just... You know, maybe you were looking for no vote. You know, you never know, you know. <laughs> but yeah, just imagine it, though. Imagine, you know, that our eyes, you know, our breasts, and that we could just, instead of everyone just looking open and like, and that's all people do all day, it's like they just walk around and, Everybody's just like, hi, how are you? And I'm not looking at you directly. And this is your breasts and your belly button, or your breasts and your uh, cock hole, and, or your breasts and your asshole, or anything else that resembles that somehow, you know, but yeah, um, I just wanted to say that, is that if people are like born and, you know, like people, 
you make me. You know, like, you know how people can be like, somebody can like not have their eyes stuck and it's like completely stuck. Like, my eyes not stuck, it's just born that way or something. It or, you know, born, born stuck. Stuck, born, you know, or whatever. <laughs> you know. And um, another thing, you know, just about this world is that people are so stupid. You know, and I mean, they just don't care about anything I care about. You know, I mean, they just don't know. You know, like, they don't know that I would rather spend my time with this clover. They actually wanted to spend more time with me. Or maybe just by itself with the, like, a computer. You know? I mean, I don't need, you know, some kind of verification, you know. I just want to make that true, you know, because all you uncool people out there that don't understand. <laughs> I'm like, probably. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you want to talk to one of these? And why would you think that somebody needs Jesus' penis in a freaking asylum? You know, just because one of these, you know, clovers does not need to go back in there and, like, try to take some more from the white glove thing. You know, I mean, all that was about, but it's still not that fun. You know, just to take penis and take medication penis, you know. I would rather just get past the sexual elements and, you know, kind of be a little bit, you know, probably just be, you know, a little bit probably clovier, you know, and instead of it be where, you know, someone is just going to be up front, you know, just, you know, back line, you know, yeah. Anyway, I could have ate this in front of you. I could literally, in this freaking world, like, just take a person and eat it in front of you. And it looks like you don't even care. I could eat a freaking person who, like, did I pull the person out? Or is this able of eating me? You know, if I eat the food, you know, intellectual property, I mean, isn't it even worth more than property is, you know, if it's just proper to be, you know, I wouldn't want to like be eaten or eat you, you know, but I mean, I could think about it, but I mean, damn, how fast could it happen, you know? And then just think about it, though, when you think about, you know, breasts and how they can open out. Imagine everybody is like this. They're like, you know, and also there's also a choking mechanism here. You know, a choking mechanism, too. You know, that's like, you know, like. like it's like when, when your hand is like big, you know, you know, it, it, it's just like, like if you were in space and all you can do is like, stand there like wolf and then like not talk to anyone, not talk to anyone, and then, you know, I mean, why would you want to shake it like that? That's just disgusting. Why would you want to shake it like that? That's disgusting. Yeah, but anyway, you know, um, just the eyes, you know, these little parts right here is what we were talking about, though. Yeah, I think we need a language so we can actually speak. You'd be like, 
just we, 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 you know, but an actual language is not like just constant dripping from the plant, just breathing, because the whole world hasn't understood how to speak using a physic, which is basically encompassing wind, you know, around a surface, you know, instead of just whoops, you know, I had an accident and now here's a language, and here's me caught by this one plant, you know, <laughs> or three plants. I mean, you could literally take this pen and put it into the ground, and it would make three of these. You know, if you did it correctly. But... <clears throat> and then the other thing to understand is just that every single titty right now, see, there's some kind of law, and it's a universal law, and it has to do with symmetry, you know, kind of like if there was a third, and then if there was a fourth, how uncomfortable it would be to have a butt which is unattentive, but only if there was yogurt and no sex in the entire world, how we would all obviously be dead. But destiny, you know, spelled with an A. You know, like, seriously. Seriously. sort of, you know, I mean it, I mean, look at swords and how they can, like, aim, you know, I mean, I could use this sword on anything, also a little lock thing, like a key, you know, I could use it on you, you know, I could freaking, cut open an envelope with this somehow, you know, using math, I could take this, and if I made paper that was weak enough, guess what else I could do? You know, I could take, you know, the envelope, like the thinnest paper possible, it's like even weaker than like regular paper and actually enough to where this can cut it. And I can say that I can slice it with it, you know, because it is that awesome. You know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, anyway, no. I don't want to poop, you know, while I'm just sitting here, you know, but yeah, I mean, I think that once you know, our eyes could actually open out like that, doing the exercise I was talking about, the symmetry, you know, like. Kind of realizing, you know, just the and the symmetry and kissing and how it has nothing to do with the touching another's lips and just choosing just something to smooge on, you know, but it does, it doesn't, or does, or but, or just, you know, cold tub, you know, or just whatever, you know, it's all, you know, pretty good with me. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah, so one of my ideas here is just that if I did this enough and I can make this strong enough, you know, it creates the voluntary movements that has, you know, at least two eyes instead of just one eye. It also means that the whole world which is learning, you know, does not just use a penis or a clitoris as an eye, you know, and, um, you know, and not looking at things. So it shouldn't be that, you know, two eyes are looking, just kind of holding it out, and then there's just, you know, one big dong, which is everyone's dong, you know, just, you know, really big. And no one looks, you know, with these two eyes. It requires one eye for it to be there. And, you know, like, what about that one, you know? So another thing here, you know, you know, is um, just how those breasts that can be like this, you know, all have been facing forwards. And if everybody was turned, you know, fully in full view, you know, then we would be able to actually see them and move them when we think about them. Because you can feel like you're floating, you can make yourself float. There's different motions and movements, you know, it, 
You cannot live in float, you know? I mean, there's a lot of words that you haven't used, but I just, I, I just think that, you know, this would be the only reason <laughs> Glum, you know, <laughs> it's probably the coolest person ever, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if I can literally, you know, if I can do this, I can definitely move them outward. But the only reason why, you know, they're just like kind of stuck here. And they won't go out, you know, is because this has to be from the entire populace of the whole world, obviously. You know, because before we speak, we have a quiet moment. Where we have the pressure. And then when we, you know, really press, you know, actually, you know, after it's saved up the pump, you know, then it pumps it more. And then it lets go and it sees how big that impact is, you know. You know, you know, and um, I just think that eventually, you know, maybe no one will figure out how to like totally separate your eyes, you know, by understanding the power of just using this muscle. And the automata here kind of like a diagonal mechanism of just looking at the nose and it requires a pump we have a heartbeat you know we have regulation but the thing is is that just straining inwards that way you know that it could actually push it out you know And, you know, another thing is how, you know, I can push on my eyes and it has an extra eye here, you know, that when I push it like this, the pressure from this finger goes to the opposite side and squishes it and makes a purple dart, you know. And then another thing is just the pressure of, you know, his little hole right there on the side, you know, it's like, like really, I can't really explain it, you know, and um, yeah, another thing, you know, is just how this, you know, the two dots has to do with butterflies, and also, you know, the fact that uh, <laughs> the, the pressure dots seem to be the nose. <laughs> Because the two dots, and then this, you know, seems to be kind of like that too, you know. <laughs> Ooh. What? <coughs> oh. Clover is totally kissing my ass, or kicking it with me. Or is just kicking my. Oh, oh, that's just that little hair right there. I didn't know you were just sitting there trying to like tickle my freaking like that one little wave right there. You know, but it's just kind of awkward because I'm feeling a little bit extra sweaty. You know, <laughs> I want to eat you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like seriously. Look, I know you want to. But you know we're on a webcam, man. I mean, you know what it's like.
But yeah, I'm learning how to do these little mini nudges, and it's it's, it's kind of like you can pour it like a liquid, but it's little nudges in between here. It's kind of like a kind of like a vein, like you know how you have a vein and it has a vein, but it's a muscular dot vein, and it's got these little like notifiers, and they run through like other areas that can be filled up. You know, not just your hand right here. You know, and um, you know, I mean, I don't know. Usually, when I'm really hot. You know, I'd wish I'd have some freaking AT. <clears throat> but anyway, what are you doing? And I'm just saying, like, if it would be socially acceptable, it never will be because I have to achieve the possible. Now, I could say on the contrary, you know, it is possible, but it'd have to be done. You know, it's got to be possible. I mean, it's really just based on me lining up myself with a perfect slot, just like a canyon of people who seem to be canyon, you know, canyon -y, you know, and, um, you know, being canyon -y, you know, is like being not crayon for plants to draw <laughs> with. You know, <clears throat> because I didn't want to go to a building. But I think someone, you know, probably did, you know. It doesn't mean that you didn't, but it doesn't mean that you didn't. Like, doing what you're supposed to, like, actually do for. I don't know, I'd, I'd probably just... Another thing I'm realizing here about asymmetry with this, with this, is that, um, I don't know. It's just that me being smart and me speaking English is already a barrier here. I, I. You know, and I, I just think that, you know, maybe all the language that we have so far since plants are not really talking to us, is actually plants have been using us as the internet this whole time. I mean, there's a lot of really slight communication. And if you ever did molest someone or feel kinky or get lonely or it's not, you know, and wanted to know why you're so smart. But it doesn't feel attractive. It does to someone. You know, I mean, obviously, Jesus had, you know, definitely plant, you know, it did. I mean, it had to have done it, man. <laughs> because, I mean, how could it feel, you know, like. You know, and just because the eyes, you know, and I thought that was smart. But, I mean, imagine if I'm stupid to a plant, which has perfect math, has perfect counting, and has a perfect skill, which is to radiate and be where it is, and knows how to absorb my information. You know, it's like each one of these, this is like 10,000 hairs on my face. You know, that are totally worth more talking to than you or you. You know, if it, you know, would help me more. I think, I think definitely. 
And you know, another thing is that you know you got like a bunch of hairs on there that are probably worth talking to more than me. You know, if, if it helps you more, I can say less, and it would still be right. And that's how I know that this is incorrect. I mean, maybe we're just limited in just a little horny way, where we can't actually take our eyes and notice the pressure about that. You know, these eyes hole. You know, and this hole, these holes. And this is a black hole, that's 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 a black hole. You know, on the opposite side. It's not like, I mean, y'all, so you said that the light that comes from the light is flipped upside down, is what you said. That's what they said in school. They said that, that when my eyes are looking at something, that the light is flipped the other way. Like everything that is like right side up is upside down has to do with pressure. And <coughs> that is the pressure. That's the upside down part. You know, it has to be. Why can't I do something? <laughs> You do something with it. Why couldn't you do something with it? Why couldn't you do something with it? You know, and it's all because, you know, of it. <laughs> it's because of it. <laughs> and, <clears throat> yeah, if you practiced it, And you could make it erotic instead of hurt, just to keep looking at the nose, telling it you love it and things like that. Disorder. You know, I, I really think that, you know, you'd be less focused on how much you love this clover. You know, or how much, you know, maybe you really didn't want three people to look at my nose. You know, but look, man, you know, but look. Toilet, you know, seriously, you know, it, it could definitely be done, you know, maybe. I think it was just funner to just talk this much with that much tickling, you know, and I, I'd probably just want to stop, you know, but I'm sarcastic and I would have landed a blow there, you know, just because. You know, I said something that wasn't what it was, and then I said something else that's not true. You know, so I just said something that wasn't what I meant, you know. And then I can go back and, like, not mean it, really, you know. And that's just, you know, kind of some of the knowledge, you know. Yeah. Just kind of how I feel, you know. And if I could, I mean, if I if I was transgender, really, and I had pity, you know. But I mean, you're way cooler, you know, than any other person would be, you know. Especially just to make some kind of you know art of war statement, which would be like you know. Since, you know, there was a minority here, but a majority there, but this could make a majority, then I could say said statement. And then I could, you know, then attack by using my defense mechanism, which would be, you know, basically calculating and using a smart statement, which would be usable, instead of not. <laughs> oh, stuff full of figures, you know.
And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you could, you know, I mean, just because, you know, we got Spock, you know, I mean, who would want to have sex with Spock? I think that's disgusting. And just to think it's not just some guy that's being looked at, you know, and the eyes are like, fuck me, I might be transgender because there's a guy and girl, you know. I think it would just be a mixture of both and not really like from male or from female. That's what my aim would be, It'd be like transplanting. That'd be so. Who's the monkey? <laughs> I know you can't even say who's <laughs> something in there. <laughs> you. I mean, <laughs> having fun on my webcam instead of just some dick I'm talking to. Or some thing, you know, that'd be like really, like, probably like really jelly. Oh, ding the jellyfish, you know. <laughs> I am so sad and I'm so disappointed. I'm not learning enough. I mean, why can't you just say that that would have been the reason? There's more to do. There's more to accomplish. There's more to achieve, people who don't use Ouija boards. People do use Ouija boards. <laughs> like me, myself, and then like some kind of unit, you know? And um, I don't know what else to say. Probably just the fact that. Probably just the fact that. Probably just the sack that. <laughs> Probably just the back, probably just the clack, probably just the block, this. I mean, you could really, maybe, you know. And I know that, like, if I got stuck in a little momentum zoom zone, <laughs> you know, where I'm like, <laughs> momentum zoom zone. And it feels erotic. That's not right. I mean, that's like if something is like, I'm focused on this plant, and then it's like I'm squeezing it on both sides, and then it's trapped in the middle, you know? And, I mean, just to be perfectly in the middle, but trapped, you know, that would be like me just looking at my eye lens, you know, instead of looking at something else. <laughs> I really do not think... I didn't really think about it, you know, <laughs> I mean, it being what it is, you know, and just how, you know, being stuck in one position, being zoomed and looked at and, you know, all that, you know, if you zoom out, it zooms in, <laughs> you know, like if I'm zooming out like this, and then he zooms me in <laughs> and thought, you know, I think right now we're just talking about farts because we're speaking English. In fart, you know, or in fart, you know, but if we were really speaking, you know, I think it would probably be just the fact that we are cooler than you and you can't do anything about it. I could just be easily just cast aside. But I would have someone with me. Probably someone else besides you. Because, I mean, what if, you know, a computer, you know, used one of these? You know, I know how these things happen. You know, you could see how, you know, maybe a bee, you know, would maybe use the computer. You know, just... Just a little tiny bit, you know, tiny bot, you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe, 
creepy. Ew. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, you know, three hearts. Look at that. Also three butts bending over. Uh -huh. You know, and also probably like a face about what's already going on. You know, explaining it to people, of course. Because it's got the, uh, yeah. the, the mouth, of course, down here. You know, very, very intrusive. I mean, it'd have to be called out. You know, I'm calling you out. You just called me out. We'll have to figure it out. No, I just told you, you know, that. I know. I mean, just to move against the wind, you know, and you just had a huge sigh of relief, and you're like, this is how to do it. You know, and actually, you were blowing the wind at me, was what the most impressive thing about this world, you know, physics that I haven't understood yet, you know. But I mean, just that you could actually do that to me is just so amazing that. You know, not just because of the you know, math and the equations, but also the fact that you could actually tell me something and make me say it. You know, and you actually could turn my face and all that stuff is going on live. And it's like, like you could literally, like I picked you up and moved you and now I am holding you. It's just amazing, you know. I mean, it definitely is a once in a moment experience. It's always going to be there, but I mean, how good can it be? You know? And, um, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, if I could do it, you know, and I, I'm just talking to my nose, too, you know, because it's in my nose right here. It's got hairs on it. You know, and you've been pranked, you know, not, you know, if you want. But, I mean, if I could just, you know, like, be able to charge up that, you know, like, before it does it, you know, and just kind of knead it and work on it, you know, kind of like if I was sewing, you know, or knitting something or putting something together out of material or building something or cooking something, you know, I could just see how I could you know, build up this instead of it just be the refraction of something happening. And instead of it being, you know, where actually I made it do it a different way, you know, by using a particle on my body, for example, to control me completely, you know, or maybe by using the opposite of what I would use as a force to do something. And it's all, you know, really, really uninteresting because I'm really serious and I want to get to the point. And I, I just messed around this whole time just because I did not want to mess around. So I just wiped it all over you. You know, I don't like it. I don't even like, I don't even like the word like, because that voice, you know, does something I don't want it to do, you know. You know, and that's one thing is just how it's all blown up, you know, and, um, man, but yeah, I think that would be a really good idea is just to be able to take my eyes, and be able to just separate them. I mean, you can't do it like this. You can, but you said it's breasts and it has to be aimed right at you. You know, like that, and it's like, here they are, and it's been like that. You talk to a person, you take your eyes, and you put them at a person like that, aiming forwards only, and cannot go outwards, but can go inwards with the eyes. 
those are eyes that I was talking about. I wasn't talking about breasts to feed a baby. I was talking about eyes to feed a baby. You know, like these eyeballs, you know, that are used. You know, I was thinking, you know, that these eyes were actually, you know, bouncy. And, you know, they are bouncy. You can touch them and they do this. What else is it? You know, it's definitely, I mean, if I can touch a breast and feel the other side of it, you know, okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, I can see the other side of that when I push it. You know, I can actually be pushed by that. I know that. I can also push it. I can even talk. You know, I mean, you can't leave that out because, see, if I write a song and I go around every single detail, there's still a small amount of force that can actually push back. You know, or even, you know, be pushed back by what I'm doing, you know, and it could cause some great things to happen. And uh, I don't know what else, man. You know, I just wish that I could do it, though. I wish I could, you know, really know how to just, and like just from this, you know. And just that it is eyes and you know you 